Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. It's gonna be one with mainly music behind it. I have been trying to finish up this sketchbook forever. It's had like a few pages in it. And so I did um, swatches of this palette before I added the greens. And um, I was playing with a bunch of my Tombow brush pens. Those are some Arteza Real brush pens. But I did these pumpkins over the weekend and I wanted to draw a pumpkin kind of like that with a um, witch's hat on, kind of like the sorting hat. And so I sketched that out. I did line it with a fountain pen ink, but I realized I forgot that I'd put um, the wrong ink in. So this ink will run a little bit. So we'll have to fix that up with pencils or paint or something. So have fun, enjoy the video. And I'm gonna have Charmed on, so that's why we're gonna have music, because I figured why not paint something Halloween-y and watch how Charmed. I have a lot of my stuff in my um, uh, Lockbee uh, palette, or um, not palette, my Lockbee, um, I'll pull this paint palette out, my Lockbee Venture pouch, that's what it's called. But I need this side. I've got some brushes, a fine liner. It holds so much stuff. This is an old travel palette I used to carry. You can see I've used the heck out of it um, because of all of the divots. Um, this is a new palette that I got. It is the one by Artist Loft. And the paints are actually really nice. I was worried they were gonna be chalky. They feel like the Mungyo. So that means they're like the original Jane Davenport ones. Um, this was using them, blending them to get different oranges. Um, yeah, but it's, they call it a portrait palette. Uh, yeah. And it's basically like um, skin tones. 12 half pans. This is the palette, minus this row. These I are a bunch of greens I added from. This green is from Rosa Gallery. And then these four here are from my Phoenix set. There's like an olive green, a sap green, a hooker's dark. And then this is kind of like a leaf green, may green sort of a color. Kind of like that there. But these are both little palettes that I like to travel with. This one, I know the paints so well that I actually might use these over these because I know these paints better. Why don't we do that? Um, so these are Art, 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 uh, Zen Arts watercolors. Um, yeah, Zen Art supplies. And they are the exact same as the Phoenix watercolors, which is also the same thing as the um, Windsor Newton Common watercolors. I'm just gonna mist these a little bit to get them wet. These are the original swatch cards so you can see like the original color names and then here's the swatch card I made of how I have them in there and I'm gonna put that there just to prevent any bleeding and here we go
there we are. You can see I used a little bit of both palettes. I forgot I didn't have a Payne's Gray in here. Um, the closest I had was like a indigo and a Prussian blue. So I pulled out this palette and used Lamp Black and a little bit of Van Dyke Brown to create the shading on the hat. So there we are. I hope you had fun and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.